I'm Ashley Dvorkin for Fox Lifestyle. Our guests today are joining us from a dairy farm in Texas. It's country singer Sarah Evans and nutritionist Dr. Lana Franson here to talk about a new campaign to support America's dairy farmers. So welcome to you both. Thank you. Sarah, let's start with this. Share why you got involved. You grew up on a dairy farm. This is all very familiar to you. Yeah, I grew up on a farm, not a dairy farm, but we did have milk cows. And um, just farm life in general, I'm so passionate about, you know, family farms. And 97% um, of dairy farms are family owned. And I just think that's awesome. And um, I'm a huge believer in eating nutritious foods, cooking for my family, and drinking milk. And I think that, you know, a lot of times in America we lose the just the basic um, things that we know. And um, so I'm, I'm so excited to be partnering with Dairy Max to go back to the basics of drinking cow's milk because it is so good for you. Mm -hmm. And let's talk nutritional value of milk. So which do you recommend, whole milk or skim milk? Well, you know, the, there's a right choice for everyone. The dietary guidelines for Americans, which are um, recommendations based on science, recommend 1% or fat-free milk. Um, and the reason being is that you get, the, you get those nine essential nutrients for the fewest calories. So um, I drink 1% milk, and you know Sarah and I have been talking about variety, and variety is good. And Sarah, um, I know, cooks with different types of milk also. So there's besides drinking your milk, you can actually cook with different milks. Um, so like creamy soups, you can uh, get milk in that way also. Mm -hmm. Is raw milk good for you? Raw milk is not recommended. Uh, you know, there was uh, there have been many instances where it's made people sick. And we don't want to run any risk in drinking raw milk. So um, the recommendation is to drink pasteurized milk. And I can tell you now, more so than ever, we have a wider variety of milks available to us. So um, the flavored milks, and if someone is lactose intolerant, they can actually rely on the wide variety of lactose intolerant milks that are made with real cow milk that are available to us. I've got some examples here, like lactate milk and fair life milk. These are real cow's milk products. They've just taken the lactose out, so it's easy on the tummy. But I would definitely recommend um, you know, going to your grocery store and um, taking advantage of the variety that you have at your fingertips. Sure. Now, Sarah, what are some of your favorite milk-based recipes? Um, well, I love to make this smoothie. It's one of my kids' favorite things, and we do it a lot before school or when they come home after school. And um, But this is basically just fruit and orange juice and ice and milk. And you just blend it up. It's so easy and, and so good for them. And let's talk a little bit about the nutritional differences between the variety of milk that you do see now, because you see almond milk, rice milk, soy milk. So what nutritional value across the board. Can you give us uh, comparisons? Sure. So um, the fact of the matter is that not all milks are created equal. So if you take a glass of cow's milk, real cow's milk like I have right here, and you put it side by side with some of the non-dairy alternative beverages that we're really seeing more and more of at the grocery store, the unique nutrient package that cow's milk delivers can't be matched. You, uh, I call it Mother Nature's original protein drink. You get eight grams of high quality protein, and it's the number one source of calcium. So um, you would have to eat 10 cups of raw spinach to get the 300 milligrams of calcium that you find in every glass of real cow's milk. And it also delivers as much potassium as a banana. A lot of people don't realize um, it's, you know, cow's milk is more than calcium. It's a nine essential nutrients that get delivered every time you go for a glass of, of real cow's milk. Sure. And then finally, okay, so Sarah, aside from this music project you're focusing on right now, are you gearing up for summer tour season already? Yes, we are. <laughs> and um, I'm also gearing up to head back in the studio at some point in 2015 and start a new album. Um, but yeah, we'll be hitting the road this summer. Great. Well, Sarah, Lana, thank you both so much. Really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. And thank you for watching. For Fox Lifestyle, I'm Ashley Dvorkin.